while visiting the ancient site of Nan Madal. Ancient astronaut theorists Giorgio Tsoukalos and David Childress, along with their guide, Gus Kohler, and structural engineer, Dr. Henry Burton, have traveled to the site of Nandawas, the royal mortuary said to belong to Nan Madal's original builders. This is supposed to be the biggest stone here this at This corner Nandawas. stone right here? This thing, it's, it's supposed to be the biggest of all the stones here. Henry, do you think you can calculate the weight of this? Yeah, we can certainly estimate it. Um, I have a measuring tape. We can estimate the volume, and we know the density, so that can give us the mass. All right, let's do that. Yeah, so this is about four meters. All right, here's the, the far corner here. Using the dimensions and the density of one of the basalt stone blocks, Dr. Burton calculates its weight. 250. Two meters 50. All right, so based on the measurements, you're looking at a weight of about 54 tons. 54 tons, yeah. then. So 50 tons, give or take. And you mean? have one, two, three, four of those monoliths essentially stacked on top of each other mm -hmm. at a height of 40 feet. So, Gus, what is then the oral history of moving this stone on the island? Well, according to the legends, uh, the stones were flown up here. Rocks were brought from the north, and they were flown up here. For generations, the people of Pompeii have told the story that Nan Madal was constructed by strange visitors through a process of levitation. It is this legend that is suggested to ancient astronaut theorists that Nan Madal is not only an ancient megalithic structure, it is also an extraterrestrial one. So we have in the oral traditions a story about two brothers, Olusopa and Olusipa. They managed to construct what you know today as Nan Madal. According to oral histories, the stones flew to the Nan Madal area. How did they fly there? We don't know. The two brothers who started Nan Madal, according to Bon Ben legend, were foreigners. They were not from here, so we don't know. Uh, where they were from. According to legend, the twin sorcerers who created Nan Madal were of giant proportions, much like the legends of Easter Island, where it is said that giants magically floated the stone Moai statues into place. Similar stories involving levitation are associated with numerous other megalithic sites, like Stonehenge in England, the Great Pyramid in Giza, Egypt, the Ushmal Pyramid in the Yucatan Peninsula, and Pumapunku in Bolivia. There are other stories around the world that say the exact same thing, how gigantic stones were moved into place as if by magic. And you have to ask yourself, is there a connection? Did all of our ancestors receive the same knowledge from the extraterrestrials? And the answer to that is a resounding yes. We've done scientific studies, and 40% of the rocks that comprise this site here came from the north. So okay. it does kind of collaborate our oral legend that it came from the north. The other 60%? Yeah, they don't know. I think they don't know where it came from. And, but uh -huh. it's, it's not from here, right? Nobody's been able to source that. So, yeah, 60% <laughs> of the stones, they don't know where they came from. That's incredible that the 60% is essentially still a mystery, yes? Huh. For decades, mainstream archaeologists have been frustrated by their failure to identify the source for much of the basalt used in the construction of Nan Madal. But recently, a growing number of scientists have become convinced that it came from a volcanic outcropping located 25 miles northeast of Nan Madal, called Huisan Malak. The unusual formation extends over 400 feet into the air. And incredibly, the rock used to construct Nan Madal appears to have been extracted from the least accessible part of the mountain, the very top. But how? According to the oral history of Pompeii, the basalt was taken by what the natives referred to as a giant bird. There's one story that says that at some point there were these giant roosters that lived on top of that mountain, and this rooster took these basalt blocks and flew them over to Nanmadal. 
Now, monster roosters do not exist. So my mind always goes to misunderstood technology, machines that were provided by the extraterrestrials. I believe that the islanders are correct when they say all those stones were flown through the air because I can't see how it was done in any other way. As far as ancient astronaut theorists are concerned, the local legends, along with hard evidence that basalt appears to have been excavated from the top of Puisan Malik, add credence to the idea that advanced alien technology was used in the construction of Nan Madal.